Hello, my name is Ethan, and welcome back to another episode of Path of Exile Harvest League 3.11. In this episode, I want to go over how or why uh, I replaced the breast dome and how I was able to do it and what we actually did to do this and go over the little uh, ins and outs of actually doing this in game. How would you replace the brass dome in our build? Okay, let's get into it. So here we have our other screen. I want to start off with POB real quick. Uh, this is mostly looking at the brass dome and stuff like that. So first, I'm going to start off with the actual brass dome POB. Uh, so imagine that the POB has the brass dome. And so you have 100% crit reduction, no crit. Pog. Meaning, I don't need to take the Sanctum of Thought to reduce crit, and I don't need a belt for reduce crit, and all that. So I was able to take some of the points out from over here and put the five points into this. And I actually, because I don't have, see, I don't have enough life over here. Like, I need to put two more points, but two more points over here isn't good. So I should put all the points here and have the extras over here. Uh, so here we have a small comparison. So this is the Brass Dome build with 1.57 million dps 5100 life 5100 life with the brass dome the way we did this is we wear the brass dome and then on our belt we get an extra slot here we have 110 life 12 percent increased maximum life 24 percent increased life recovery rate regen 2.4 percent of life per second during any flask effect okay so this is a super pog belt now let me show you the difference when you don't wear the brass dome so when you take off the brass dome, you have to wear Sanctum of Thought on your passive tree. So you can see that this changes because I don't have the extra points. So now it's better to put it over here. And then on my items, we have a belt. And this is very important. Uh, I didn't switch it apparently. My bad. It's this one. So in the no brass dome version, you have to wear the special Gloom Bond stage advice. This one has reduced crit of 30%. So if you notice, on my skill tree, I have 20. On my belt, I have 30. It's a crit mod. So crafting the belt's not that hard. I'll be making videos on how to craft the belt and chest plate after, don't worry. Um, so like they will come soon. Then I went for this. So if you're wondering how I got this chest plate, basically a viewer, Mr. Too Easy, once again, he uh, he messages me that I should go buy this because it's only 1x and it's uh, exactly my colors. 3 red, 2 blue, 1 green. It has 50% reduced crit chance, 6% reduced chaos damage taken, and plus 1 to the socketed gem. So over the brass dome, we get 1 extra level for all of the socketed gems. So our damage goes up by 200,000 just for the 1 level, 193. And so... You may ask, well, Ethan, how do you get all the reduction of crit? So the corruption on this chest plate gave us the reduction of crit 50. We have the 30 from the belt and the 20 from the skill tree. That's 100% reduced crit. And so we're crit immune without the breast dome. And so then you ask, is this worth it? And uh, well, in this case, you're not going to be able to get this. What I would then say is, hey, guys, you could actually run potentially any chest plate you want any chest plate you want with 50% reduced extra crit and then you don't have to run the brass dome and so as long as it's six linked with the right colors and you have this um crit reduction in uh corruption gg dude you can you could do any build okay so then we take it one step further so you've seen this where we get 100% crit without the brass dome okay now you might be wondering about this. What can you do instead of the skin of the loyal elite? Then what's the upgrade to that? So then I show you this. We put it. Well, okay. Let me show you. Skin. Uh, we have the three versions. So this is with a new chest plate. So the first version with brass dome was fifty one hundred one point five. So brass dome is tankier than the. Skin of the Loyal. And, uh... And we lose it, but we lose damage. Then this final one, we have the same damage as the Skin of the Loyal. And we have more life. And we have more regen. So how do we do it? 
Okay, so basically imagine skin of the loyal plus one, but we have this plus one. So it's similar damage, right? It's not all of the gems, it's only the active skill gem, so it's only the carry on golem. And then, on top of it, we have the 15% increased life recovery, which gives us the extra regen. And then we have the life and flat life that is bonus on the skin of the loyal. So obviously, you have to double corrupt an astral plate with getting crit reduction. And I haven't made the video about how to actually craft the astral, astral plate or the belts yet. Um, and then, oh, this one... I messed up. It has to have that one. So it's only 5194. So basically this is like showing basically the combination between the two. You can get similar life and similar damage of both of them combined. So it's it's definitely better. This is definitely an improvement once you get the astro plate with the with the recovery and and the and the corruption and then you get your really good stage and vice which we can make better than this. This is just like the first iteration. Same thing like Oh my god, dude. This is really cool. So yeah, the overall concept is that we combine the two builds and uh, we get 100% crit reduction still. We have more life. We have more regen. We have more damage than the starting build. And so now it, I have to ask, it's like, hey guys, which one of these should I be sitting on right now? Because I have the option of either of them. I either can go more damage or more health. Because um, 400 more health or... 200,000 more damage uh you could really ask yourself do i need the damage no so i probably shouldn't be doing this and i should probably be tankier so i should probably run the brass dome and uh run the higher hp version because there's no reason to have um this skin of the loyal in the build other than a little bit of damage which we don't actually need but uh this was the overall of how we are going to replace a brass dome in the build and look at how good the brass dome is. This is kind of like the cold iron points all over again, dude, trying to replace the brass dome and how good it actually is. Oh my god, 100% crit reduction is insane. This is really hard to find. Um, and obviously, we've shown how to create it. The belt um, in the other one, the 30% crit reduction, the 20 from the skill tree. And the uh, 50 from the enchant or the corruption, which what's really funny is you could actually ask yourself, you don't need all three. You could, because these aren't a chance. This is just reducing the damage from a crit. And so um, you, you could actually say to yourself, hey, I don't want to spend three points on my skill tree. I want more life. So you don't have to take this, right? You don't need Sanctum of Thought. 20% more from the crit, sure. You don't need the belt technically. It's nice because I don't really know what else you would go other than, like I showed, the increased attributes um, and just some better rolls. And then uh, the last one, corruption on the chest plate. Man, this is just insane because trying to go for an insane damage double corruption or like you don't really have a good tank corruption on a chest plate uh, other than this. The other ones are the reduced specific damage like chaos le it doesn't have the the crit is the most universal way to debuff like to to reduce the damage coming in of the big hits that are going to kill you and so i really think that this whole 100 percent crit thing is huge and i bet if i had 50 percent more crit reduction in my old builds when i was delving because i only had 50 percent crit reduction dude it would have made a gigantic fucking difference I, th I bet uh, some of our builds actually would have been able to tank everything then because that probably was the difference is the bursty hits the really high hits that just one shot you and it's like oh you have you should actually have to eliminate those or make them so small um and this is extra damage from crit so it's not remove like it doesn't make crits worse they're still doing good for critting we're trying to just get rid of it now we get rid of crit completely and now we're just dealing with normal hits every time which is really sick um either way show you guys the direction i think that uh, it's obvious that the end result of getting the 5194 where we can make a better rare belt a better chest plate and go for the craziest shit because again this is uh i believe open two suffixes that are shit like re the, the recover and the 10 life uh regen and uh, this is crafted life yeah so there's a lot of improvement that could be made but 
Either way, obviously I don't actually have, oh, I don't actually have this crit reduction chest plate yet. This is just to show what it would be like. So I'm working on it. That's why we are currently sitting on the skin of the loyal version. And so I needed to put this video out here to explain to people what we are doing and how we replace the brass dome and to go over um, what, what you can do as well. Um, so yeah, now we're rocking this and this. And uh, to be honest, what's really funny is uh, when mapping, I'm actually still going to wear the Brass Dome. And I'm going to switch back to the life build. Like the more life and less damage. Because when mapping, I want to wear a Headhunter. And wearing a Headhunter, I can't wear this belt, which means I, can't, I take 30% more crit. And so then it's just like, well, I don't want to do that. So I would rather take the extra um from the from a headhunter yeah so what's also really funny is i could still remove the chaos from the belt uh from the boot and add extra craft and i can remove the fire from this glove and add an extra craft and then uh our build's actually all squared up and min maxed and other than this ring that i still could potentially remove but either way uh, thank you guys for watching this episode on uh, how to remove the brass dome. This is not about how to craft the chest plates or anything. This is mostly just showing you that if you get a 50% reduced crit reduction chest plate, a 30% crit reduction belt, and the 20% on the skill tree, hey, 100% crit reduction. That's fucking sick. What a cool little package. Hope you guys have enjoyed. You could get this mod from the Warlord um, belt mod prefix thing. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I'm going to take this opportunity to thank my patron and my YouTube members who financially support the channel. Thank you guys so much. Can't do this without you guys. Thank you to anyone new who joins the patron of the YouTube members today, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye!